Hey everybody, Black Ninja 797 here, and in today's video, we're gonna be playing some more Fortnite for you guys. I think I'm gonna go over to Snobby Shores this time, uh, because I haven't really done Snobby Shores for a video, and uh, one of the things that I like about Snobby Shores is that bunker. I've always liked that bunker because it's so just it's just kind of like the most safest way you can get a lot of loot, because like a lot of people will end up going into the roofs of houses and try to get like chests or whatever. And the common player for Fortnite doesn't expect to look in walls or underneath. They kind of just know to look in the roofs. So if I actually end up making it to that bunker before everybody else, uh, I've actually got a really good chance of getting some good loot. Now, I don't exactly know how many people are following me, but it seems like we're good for now. I saw a couple of chests out in the open in all the other places, but... uh. My main concern is about just getting to the bunker, which is good because uh, it looks like there's nobody here, and I heard some chests already. Some of this up. Oh, an egg launcher. Okay. Uh, one of the things that I actually want to get to, uh, around to doing sometime soon for Fortnite is uh, making a video on the uh, high explosives or like uh, the new explosives only game mode that I actually ended up coming out. They had a second version of that, like how they had a second version of Snipers Only. It seems like that they're actually bringing back uh, some alternate game modes and actually just modifying them a little bit. We've uh, had a Sniper Shootout V2 and now we're getting the High Explosives V2. Uh, I know that 20v20 or the five teams of 20 and stuff like that, that was meant to be kind of like a, you know, a version of like 50v50 and that was like their alternate version. Which I guess you could say is that, that mode's alternate version, but that was just kind of like its own thing by itself, really. Another revolver. We have a really weird mixture of loot. Uh, but I definitely want to play that game mode. Another thing I actually want to end up seeing if I can get it just at all in today's video is, uh... One of the things that they added in recently was, uh... You could actually get these vending machines that actually will give you items. Oh, that's really cool. We got Chug Jug. I haven't got a chug chug in a while. And then we got a scoped AR. Okay, that's that's pretty decent. Not that bad. Not that bad indeed. Uh, but, anyways, going back to what I was saying. So, there's these vending machines that are... Oh my god, we got so lucky, boys. Let's go. <laughs> the game's just like, oh, you want to tell a story? We're going to give you every reason to not continue your story by giving you just such good loot. But, I mean, hey, a, a golden scar is not something you come across very often. That's really, really cool. Well, that's basically set me up for the whole game. Anyway, before I get interrupted again ba by basically myself, um, there's these vending machines that are now scattered across the map. Uh, this was leaked by a guy that was on Xbox and just found it on accident. It was underneath the map because he like had a glitch where his body fell underneath the map due to lag. And uh, he was actually able to find a new uh, kind of vending machine. Like it's a thing about like perks from Call of Duty Zombies. And think of that applied to Fortnite, but it's for guns. You basically spend, you know, a certain amount of wood, brick, or metal, your materials, and in return you get a type of gun. There is, I believe, rare, epic, and legendary versions of the machines, and they're random all the time based off of location and what they give you. They, like, cycle between three different things each, and uh, you wait until they cycle to something you want, you give away your material, and then bam, you got what you want. So I can find, like, let's say a... Well, I don't know why this is not working. There we go. But you could... Oh, I got a ways to go. Okay, boys, we got to get going. We got some decent loot. I'm good with this. Anyways, uh, but basically, what ended up happening was is that the guy found it underneath the map. After he found it underneath the map, uh, basically got leaked and got some traction. And now that it's got some traction and everything, uh, now it's actually announced in the game. And a lot of people are, you know, talking about it and stuff like that. In fact, there's actually gameplay of it because it just got released today uh, with the newest updates. So, if I stumble across one, I'll definitely try to get it for you guys. But I don't even know if there's a reason to get it because uh, I pretty much got all the loot that I wanted within, like, the first few things of the game. Which is really, really cool. But, uh, I could, like, end up finding a legendary one and I could say, like, give 500 metal for either a gold scar, a gold RPG, or a golden bolt. And I could just wait until I get the thing I want. Whoa. I swear if I would have died, I would have been pissed because lately I've had that 
where people will rush me into oblivion and then I have no time to recover. As you guys see, I just didn't care what happened. I just wanted to build whatever that monstrosity was and just just stay alive. Oh jeez, that genuinely scared the crap out of me. I had a good start to my YouTube video talking about everything, got my intro out of the way. And then the guy was just trying to sneak up on me and be like, I see you're trying to make a YouTube video here, time to screw you up. Dude, I would have been so pissed if I got all this good loot and got killed by a default skin. I would have been so mad. Alright, we're at the uh, Soccer Dome, I think. Yeah, we're at the Soccer Dome. Alright, let's see what the Soccer Dome has. I'm mostly looking for just ammo. But it should be out in just the open at this point. You know? Chest, there's a purple pistol here. I don't really care for it, though. Well, there's somebody here. Jesus Christ, dude. I would have been so pissed yet again. That would probably kill me, but as long as it just takes down somebody else with me. I got a long ways to go again. In fact, it's it's not even again, it's just the storm's coming in. Oh, please have meds. Thank you! Oh, you have no idea how much that makes me happy. Alright, now we got two actual med kits and six minis. We are doing really good for ourselves right now. I just gotta get, sh just I gotta get my button gear, cause uh, unless I find a launch pad, we've got a long way to go. We have got a massive way to go. If the circle was in our favor, this literally could have been a perfect scenario for us. But I mean, hey, not everything's gonna be perfect, so we just gotta go with what we got. That was really good call, me to go to snobby. In fact, it was just extremely good for me to just do the plays that I've been trying to do. Game, don't you mess me up here with lag. One of the things I'm proud about myself lately is how good I've gotten at the game. I've been playing the game just kind of basically pretty much 24-7 at this point now. I've pretty much like just moved on to Fortnite. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong, I love all my other games, but I only ever do it just for YouTube's sake at this point. Fortnite's my main game that I play in my free time, and then I'll play, occasionally play some other things, but... This is my main game that's, like, taking up my time now. And that's not a problem. I really like this game. I'll still try to rotate every now and then a different type of game. Uh, I just will probably continue to play this. Oh, Jesus Christ. We have to cross the loot lake. Oh, boy. Is it Okay, it's still down to one tick. I'm not just... I'm just going to go around, because if I try to cross the middle, it's going to be a waste of time, and all it's really going to do is just make things more slow. <laughs> Where's the next circle? Ah, oh, it's at Willing Woods. That's a terrible ending. Well, as soon as I get out of here, I'll put on a med uh, kit, and then we can end up getting going again. Okay, so let's heal up, make sure nobody's coming in from the storm. Seems like we're doing good. That's a long ways away again. I'm going to have to cross Dusty and Tomato. I'm pretty much just going to have to go into the final circle with whatever I got. I mean, I have good stuff. I'm just a little worried. A little worried about the, the material and then the ammo. I pretty much have everything I, I want that I could ask for. I got Golden Scar, Green Pump... A, a, an egg launcher. I got minis and I got a med kit. I've got decent material. I got a few hundred, you know, of kind of everything, almost. I mean, I really don't know what else the game could give me. I don't know, God mode? <laughs> well, this feels like God mode. When you have a golden scar, it's like a giant confidence booster. The only thing I'm just having lack of confidence in right now is just crossing the open like this. I hate crossing an open field. Because something like that, like that box there, somebody could be looking at me by walling and have a sniper and then they could kill me. Oh, there's actually a guy going right there on the mountain. 
Well, I'm not going to... He probably actually came from that box. I'm not going to challenge him because all he's just going to do is just shoot his ramp out and kill me with fall damage. And then he gets all my free loot. So I'm going to... Actually, there's a... Crap, there's a pile of stuff over here too. Well, he may have taken a launch pad because of the ramp. But it's a very likely chance that he's also still there. So I'm going to just approach this very cautiously. I'm, i got to spot back the walls. Be very careful about this. I'm not going for the supplier up. He might have actually been trying to get away. Oh, there's a gunfight right here. Damn it! Ah, oh. dude, I one of the things I hate a lot is the console layout. I hate the console layout. I really wish I was on PC because one of the things that I didn't announce that whole entire time that was that was in that scenario right there when I was trying to attack that guy. If you crouch and then you pull out your buildables, you can't uncrouch unless you get out of your buildables, which really upsets me. And there's that vending machine thing right there that I was talking about. And then there's also uh, the high explosives, and there's also a, a boogie dance thing that... There's a contest that Fortnite's doing where if you uh, do a dance move, uh, it could actually end up being in the game. Ah, that sucks, dude. Yeah, but that really is a weird mechanic. If you crouch and then you pull out materials, you can't uncrouch unless you put them away. It's, it's stupid, but... Anyways, guys, this is today's video. I hope you guys did end up enjoying. Please do like you did. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you later. Peace out.